Good evening. We are so glad that you're here to see us. We are the Red Top Brass Quintet, and we are a group of professional musicians who just kind of live in the area, and we, uh, we started rehearsing a few years ago, and we just are excited to share our music and let you hear what we sound like. Um, I'm curious, how many of you, this is the first time that you've ever been to a Brass Quintet concert? by a show of hands. Okay, so we have a lot of, a lot of new ears to our audience. Um, so we, we started getting together a few years ago and the exit on 75 where we took to all meet up was called Red Top Mountain on the exit. And then we kind of looked at it and that's kind of was a central point in between all of us. So we decided we we're trying to find a name and we said Red Top Brass it is. And it was pretty, pretty easy to find some red ties. So we thought it was a pretty good theme. So that first piece you heard was called Canzona Bergamasca, and it is uh, written around the Italian region of Bergamo. And if you notice, there was a fugue throughout that piece, and that's where we all played the same thing, but we started at different times. 
And so if you were a musician who was trying to fight in beat one, that might have been a little bit of a challenge because it moves all over the place. So uh, for our next selection, we're going to be moving on to a classic of the brass quintet repertoire. So if you've ever been to a brass quintet concert, you might have already heard this piece. Um, it is called the Ewald Quintet Number no. 1, and it has three movements. The first will be somewhat fast, and then the middle one starts slow, and then I think he got bored halfway through because it speeds up, but then it slows down for a second time. And then the third one is almost all fast all the way to the end. So traditionally, you wait till all three movements are over to clap, but if you just get excited and you love it, we will accept any and all applause. So without further ado, here is Ewald's quintet number one. Thank you. 
Hey guys, I wanted to thank everybody uh, for coming out to see us tonight. We've had a blast putting on this program. Uh, we've been practicing a lot of these tunes for many, many years, but this is our first time actually playing these tunes, so it is our absolute pleasure to be here to do this for you today. Um, I wanted to go ahead and introduce everybody in the quintet um, over here. On trumpet, we have Mr. Justin Farmer. Uh, thank you very much. Next up, we have Mr. Jeremy Reagan. We've got Mr. Benjamin Underwood on tuba. I'm Tyler Smith. I play the French horn or uh, the curly trumpet. <laughs> and Michael Watanabe on trumpet and flugelhorn. So the next two pieces we're doing. Um, we're going to start with uh, Lament by Brandon Ridenour. Um, this is a really modern piece. You're going to hear a lot of uh, interesting colors uh, that you don't normally hear in a brass quintet. Uh, Michael's going to be using the flugelhorn to really create a mellow mood. I want you to imagine smoke lifting off the water <laughs> on a spring morning. Very beautiful piece. Uh, after that, we're going to be playing uh, Ray Fawn Williams' English Folk Song Suite. Um, that one, if you've ever played in a band, which I see some members of AP Wins here today, you've definitely played English Folk Song Suite. It's a little more uh, straightforward, uh, sing-songy. I know you're going to be singing those tunes on the way out of here, so I hope you enjoy uh, Lament, followed by English Folk Song Suite. Thanks.
So, uh, like Jeremy and Tyler mentioned, uh, this group has been together for a few years, uh, but we've gone through a few different iterations also. Uh, for a time, we had a different trombone player, and Jeremy played tuba. Uh, and then, uh, over the years, we uh, kind of shifted a little bit, and then ended up finding Ben in AP Wins. Um, and one of the common themes of our group, oddly enough, seems to be that the tuba player hosts our rehearsals. Um, when Jeremy was the tuba player, he hosted us, and now we meet at Ben's place. Um, and one of the other common staples of our group has been the next selection on our program, which is Three Pieces by Ludwig Maurer. Um, so this has been uh, one that has been uh, very, very much a, a warm-up for us. Uh, it's been one that we can always come back to and it keeps us together when any of our music feels like it's unstable and unsure we're able to come back to this one and find our place um, so the next two pieces or next two selections on our program this and the Banco Sanger leader um, are the staples of our group throughout the iterations of Red Top Brass Quintet um, also, if you like what you're hearing tonight, next Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday, the uh, AP Wins will be playing at Reinhardt University on stage there at Fellaini Performing Arts Center. Um, so if you like what you're hearing tonight, come and support um, the group. All of the five of us will be in that performance as well. Um, and that performance will also feature Tyler on a Mozart horn concerto. Um, Jeremy and I conduct the group. Um, so we would love to see you there at that performance as well. So here is three pieces by Ludwig Mohr.
We hope you have enjoyed the evening with us. Um, as Michael said, and I'll echo, uh, this uh, Saturday, the 27th, there's a group of about 40 of us that are going to show up at Reinhardt at 7 p.m. We'd love to see you there. And uh, we are back at Heritage for the 4th of July. So be on the lookout for announcements about that. Uh, we are excited to play for you. Uh, we're going to close with uh, probably the first, I think it's the first brass quintet piece that everybody who ever plays in a brass quintet plays. Um, it is written by Anonymous. We don't know for sure who actually wrote it. It is that old, they lost it. Um, but it is called Debunkel Sangha Leader, which translated means the bench song. And so people used to sing this, standing up on benches, shouting as loud as they could. So we hope that you see a little bit of the revel revelry and joy as we go out with Debunkel Sangha Leader.